Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. The update 090 is about to drop. It is scheduled for this week. And with the new update, we are getting a brand new skill 3. It's getting an extreme makeover. So we have uh, already all the information about what the skill 3 will look like. But we don't know yet about the balance changes to the skills. However, we can already start talking about the possible best builds for the new update. So in today's video, we will look at the current top builds and what they could become with the new update. Now, of course, it's not possible to cover everything. There's way too many different builds in the game, but I will cover the top builds at the moment. The 839 hybrid build for PvE and PvP is probably the most balanced build right now and one of the most popular so we'll look at this one the 1208 for end game speed farming we will also cover that one we will look at some blink builds also if you're a dual guy or if you like the blink skill at the end we'll look at the lord of war or the pure damage build and some possible variations for the new update now let's start with the 839 build if you were playing this build before, you might want to switch one point from survival to agility. You will lose AM bomb, EMP, sentry gun, iron sight, and auto heal stats. But you will gain shockwave, fight for your life. You will gain access to sneak attack, melee berserker, and invisibility tech. Now for PvP, a lot of people reacted on the social medias. What are they doing? We lose everything. But that's the whole point. To remove these skills from the pvp meta and let people fight with their uh, weapons actually uh, kill people with weapons but you will still be able to have one of these skills if you really want to go for it you could go for emp but you will not have iron sight or uh, am bomb or sentry gun if you really want sentry gun you can go for it but you will not have am bomb or emp so you have to make a decision if you really want to go for one of these three but this hybrid build is still gonna be really good for pvp you still have a well-balanced build with uh, some survival skills you have the uh, deflector skin you have the extra hp you have the med kit uh, the accuracy also and all the mobility skills that's why this build was so good there's the balance the survivability the mobility now what you gain, fight for your life is really good in PvP. Some guys used to put 11 points in agility just for that. You also gain sneak attack. If you don't know how good it is, when someone run away from you and turn the back, you will get extra 20% damage in the back and that will pump up the numbers like a lot. You guys will really love it. Now for PvE, I think this build is gonna lose a little bit in popularity because we're losing uh, the AM bomb it's really good in speed farming but you will gain access to invisibility instead so it's gonna help in some dungeons but I don't think it's gonna be as good because it's not really dealing damage but for Voltaic Fist and Brothers of Fire it's still a good uh, option in my opinion now if you were using 1208 you will switch one point again from survival to agility the 1208 build in my opinion is the best PvE build right now for end game farming, for gold arena or hive mine, it's got survivability and it's got the damage you're looking for. It's got all the good skills. So you will lose auto heal stats, which is something that pretty much all the builds will lose unless you go all out on survival. And you're losing the EMP, which is kind of irrelevant in arenas, anyways. In hive mine, I know some beginner players like to use it to help with the blinkers, but I never use it, and hive mine is not a problem. You need to play more. I mean, the blinkers, you, you should not need EMP to succeed in Hive Mind. Now, what you gain though, Luck of the Devil, you gain crit damage, you gain invisibility, and you gain blink. Now, blink, I don't think I would use in uh, PvE farming, but invisibility, like I said previously, is gonna be good for some dungeons. It's just another option, and you don't have to respec. Luck of the Devil is really cool to have it for free 
and you gain extra crit damage like how can you not be happy with extra crit so i think this is the build that is the biggest winner we lose like we almost lose nothing and we gain some really cool stuff so i cannot wait to see the change to am bomb but i think this is gonna be a really really good build for pve it was already good it just got better so these first two builds that I just cover, I think are really safe bets. If you don't know what to spec uh, for the first couple of days of the update and you don't want to wait, uh, 938 and 1307 are safe if you're PvE. Uh, and this thing right here might even be good for PvP. So we'll see what time, but it's really safe to go with that. One or the other, I think they're both pretty much equal. Now, if you're a blink player and you do a lot of duels, I think this could be an interesting variation. 1091 for blink, you will lose the iron sight damage. I don't know if it's something that shotgun players really use, and you will lose the sentry gun. Also, not a great skill for duels. You will gain access to survival kit, and you will gain access to shockwave. Now, I have a feeling that blink will probably be nerfed. It has to be nerfed. If you get blink and survival kit. Is gonna be a bit crazy so why they give us easy access to shockwave i think blink players might lose the knockdown effect and we'll have to combine it with shockwave but i'm not sure about that we'll see really soon so still blink will still be viable uh blink sparta kick get in the face and uh, shockwave if you need to uh, there's also variations of this build like if you don't need the magazine you might want to remove some points from the combat tree because if you don't need the extra mag you will remove one from the mag you might also get rid of the damage to elite and you want to get rid maybe of the stunner if it's uh for dual stunner i mean it's okay maybe better in team but you might want to remove like four points there if you don't need gunslinger and you will gain more survivability skills but like i said you will just lose uh, magazine cap elite damage which is pretty much useless in pvp anyways and you would lose stunner i don't think it's a great skill unless it got buffed of course and now you would gain even more survivability 15 percent extra hp plus it's more than 15 because it's one more point for every point you put in survival and deflector skin what's not to like so i think this build's got potential also in duels mostly but we'll see also maybe in team now if you don't use the pistol you can also remove the gunslinger and you will get melee resistance instead uh there, there's many ways to tweak this one remove one point put it there at this point it's gonna be personal preference and uh, i'm sure you will find your favorite variations now lord of war builds or pure damage build or dps builds this is another one that will have lots of ways to tweak it now this is just an example 5132 i think is pretty decent if they buff the hunter mines it will be interesting to play with it because it gained mobility now the old hunter mines builds had zero mobility so this one could be interesting hunter mines you get lord of war for secondary if you want to use your secondary weapons sniper or rocket launchers in pvp uh you get supercharge of course uh, you get some movement speed uh, you will lose with this variation, you will not have access to sprint speed, but you still have sprint reload. So it is interesting. If you don't want hunter mines, you can remove hunter mines and iron sight damage. You get two more points in survival and you will have deflector skins. You could also put some of these points if you want in agility and get access to grenades. If you want to remove HP and go with zero survivability, uh, you could get access to the sprint speed, of course. Um, but yeah, it's up to you guys. I mean, I know some guys will tweak it. Some guys will test different variations. It's very small differences. One point here, two points there. And yeah, it will make a difference. But again, it's personal. You want the deflector skin or you want the HP or not. Like there's so many players in this game, different personal preferences and different builds will exist. Now, probably I missed a lot of stuff. There's way too many different variations to cover everything, like I said. But if you don't know what to play, once again, the first two builds I covered in this video, I think they're safe bets. I think they will perform and they will really be good. The Blink builds, the Lord of War, like I, you guys let me know in the comments and in the first few weeks of the update, we'll see uh, what people will come up with. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like if you did, 
make sure you leave a comment below because I read everything. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.